Hello, Mr. Zonker here. This video is going to cover three different topics. The LSRL, or the least squares regression line, residual plots, and correlation. The least squares regression line is the best line of best fit. So we kind of estimated some lines of best fit before, but this is the method that finds the perfect line of best fit. We can use this to make predictions and find residuals. A residual plot is a graph that uses residuals for the y values. It keeps the same x-axis scale and the x values. We know that residuals tell us the difference between what actually occurred and what's predicted, and a residual plot just helps us visualize how close or far or what, uh, what patterns do we see in those residuals. Here we have an example with our least squares regression line. It looks like the table's already filled out by plugging in the x values to find the predicted values, and then finding the residual by subtracting the y values, the actual values, minus the predicted value, give us those residuals. We can see on our plot over here, we have the x-axis values of 20, 25, 30, and 35. That's from these x values. And on the y-axis, we're actually going to graph the residuals. Here we have residuals 0 0.5, negative 1, 3, and negative 1.5, so this scale will work for us. When we want to graph the residuals, we're going to take the x value and the residual as our y value. So we have a point at 20, 0 0.5. We have another point at 25, negative 1. Another point at 33, up here and another point at 35, negative 1.5. That would be about here. So looking at this, we can see these are the residuals that we have. We can see how close they are to the predicted line by seeing how close they are to a zero on the y-axis. By checking to see if there's a pattern or not a pattern, on the residual plot, we can determine if the original relationship was linear or nonlinear. Here we have a linear relationship showing that we've got positive and negative residuals the whole way. This would be a linear association, no pattern. A nonlinear pattern, uh, we would see a, a pattern when it's a nonlinear relationship. Here we have only positive residuals, then only negative residuals then only positive residuals. That's going to indicate there's some type of curve on the graph. Don't worry about writing all the specifics of the graph, but please do create some type of example that shows the no pattern versus the pattern and the linear versus nonlinear. The correlation coefficient. This indicates how strong or weak an association is. The values can range from negative 1 to 1, the closer to negative 1 or 1, the stronger the correlation. Negative 1 would be a perfect negative correlation. Positive 1 would be a perfect positive correlation. The closer the correlation coefficient is to 0, the weaker the correlation is. We use the variable r to represent the correlation coefficient. And if we square that value, r squared, that tells us the percentage that the model explains the relationship. Here's some example correlation coefficient values or R values. Don't worry about the labels and scales, but do please make a scatter plot showing how close, uh, how weak or strong the association is. Here we have a perfect score of 1, a positive correlation. Down here we have a perfect correlation of negative 1. We can see all the points are exactly on the line. Here for R values of 0.90 and negative 0.89, we've got a fairly close strong relationship, but definitely not perfect, positive and negative. As we get close to zero, this is the correlation coefficient of zero, here's one of negative 0 0.01, this pretty much tells us there's no correlation at all whatsoever. So again, closer to one, the closer to perfect. Closer to zero, the weaker the relationship is. All right, I hope this video was helpful.